Recent satellite photographs by the U.S. Naval Institute suggest that North Korea is likely training dolphins for military purposes. Several fishing farms lie along the Taedong River, but special pens first spotted in 2015 point to the possibility of dolphins being bred and trained near the Yellow Sea. Only two other countries are known to have developed similar training programs. As far back as the Cold War, both the United States and the Soviet Union have trained special units of dolphins and other highly intelligent marine mammals for underwater warfare and defense. Dolphins are considered so developed that a 2017 study published in the scientific journal Nature, Ecology, and Evolution states that the only thing that prevents dolphins from taking over the world could be the evolutionary lack of opposable thumbs. Smart Weapons Sea mammals can be trained to attach magnetic packages to submarines, record information, transmit tracking signals, or denote an explosive device. They're also effective in detecting potential hostile divers and saboteurs, and can tag underwater mines for disposal by human operators. Their advantageous sensory and diving abilities are beyond any man-made device. They can easily hunt for mines, recover equipment, locate and pick up objects from the seabed, and inspect cables or sonar arrays. They can even help with the maintenance of friendly equipment. Dolphins in particular are capable of defending naval bases from enemy divers, detecting swimmers, and marking them for investigation and neutralization. However, they are unable to identify friends from foes, so they are not trained to attack, only to mark targets. But their speed, agility, and sight in the dark, murky waters make them powerful allies in underwater warfare. Military Dolphins The United States was the pioneer in training bottlenose dolphins and sea lions for naval purposes in the 1960s. Still, the San Diego-based program wasn't declassified until the 1990s. In 2003, military dolphins helped the invasion forces in Iraq to clear anti-ship mines and underwater traps planted at Port Umkar by Saddam Hussein's troops. But such programs are known to be highly expensive. The only recognized active programs are the U.S. Mark 7 Marine Mammal Systems and the Russian military, which spent $33,750 to purchase five bottlenose dolphins in 2016. The Russians are known to have dolphins, beluga whales, and seals in their forces based in the Arctic and the Black Seas. The Soviet Union also used to have a dolphin unit in Crimea, but the training facilities remained under Ukraine's control when it collapsed. The program was reportedly relaunched in 2012, and when Russia annexed Crimea to its territory in 2014, the Russian military regained control of the facilities. It is also presumed that the Russian Navy sent dolphins to provide security to its warships in Syria, and a beluga whale found in Norway was believed to be part of the Russian program although its purpose in the European country is still unknown. A 1976 declassified CIA report states that the Soviet Union launched the Marine Mammal Training Program in response to the American one. The document details the exceptional innate abilities of these creatures to locate devices, place packages in moving targets, and deliver objects to submerged divers. The report reads in part, quote, Marine mammals can perform operational tasks which are well beyond even a trained frogman's capabilities. A man with swim flippers can maintain a speed of four to five knots for several minutes in quiet water. A dolphin can cruise at five to six knots for several hours and sprint to a speed of 15 to 20 knots for several minutes. Training Facilities The American and Russian programs provide a frame of reference when analyzing intelligence photographs recovered from North Korea. The pens seen in their territory are very similar to those used by superpowers to train dolphins. The location of the alleged pens is in a tributary of the Taedong River, eight miles from the river's mouth along the Yellow Sea. Traces from satellite captures taken as far back as 2015 showed two pens at first, but they quickly expanded to five in the last few years. The base where the dolphins are most likely bred was developed in 2016. Their first appearance was in a major naval display site at Nampo, 
a naval base in Port City south of the Pyongan province. It's speculated that they were also part of a broad modernization effort by the nation's leader, Kim Jong-un. Meanwhile, the pens spotted between a shipyard and a coal loading pier are apparently for intermittent use, possibly for training with nearby naval units. Their main activity seems to have been moved up the river on the edge of town. Some of these theories have faced backlash, with some experts claiming that these locations could actually be common fish farms. But these pens are different from the aquaculture ones used to raise fish for human consumption. Fishing farms are usually square-shaped and laid in grids, and several can be found along the Taedong River. The emphasis on fishing farms all over North Korea leaves some room to doubt, but many of these farms are actually run by the armed forces. Plus, several surveys make it clear that these isolated pens are not consistent with other known sites, and their closeness to the ocean could be a factor in reaching salinity levels required for the dolphins to survive. It's also known that a dolphinarium is run in the nation's capital. Military and civilian institutions in North Korea are usually intertwined, so it wouldn't be far-fetched to conclude that the naval program may benefit from the experience and infrastructure of the amenity. Warfare North Korea's aggressive military posture suggests that the country is likely training dolphins to attack enemy ships. Pyongyang possesses a significant amount of weapons, including artillery, submarines, and commandos used to intimidate or conduct small-scale attacks against their southern neighbors. Furthermore, the hermetic country is known to be manufacturing a submarine capable of firing ballistic missiles. In March of 2010, a submarine sank a South Korean corvette, and 46 sailors lost their lives in the incident. Still, North Korea never admitted any responsibility. A few months later in November, the North shelled Yenpyeong Island with artillery, submarines, and commandos. Two South Korean Marines perished in the attack. Even worse, retired Colonel Victor Baroness recounted in 2016 that Russian dolphins were used to carry kamikaze attacks carrying explosives against enemy ships. Such a strategy would be very much in line with North Korea's warfare style. Thanks for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels for more historical content. And let us know your thoughts on training animals for military purposes in the comments below.